As I'm sure you're probably aware by now, Swedish Peter made a pretty epic poker sequence earlier this year that many, many people have now copied. And it's really cool to see his great filming skills and all these people trying to emulate it, but the issue is that everyone keeps calling it B-roll when it's not actually B-roll. So I got Matt Damon to help me out so that I can show you an example of some real cinematic poker B-roll. In this clip from Rounders, which is one of the best poker movies I've ever seen, Matt Damon's character is explaining an experience he had which was the motivation behind his decision to play against one of the best guys in town earlier in the film where he ended up losing everything. His conversation here where he tells the story of what happened is the A roll and then the cutaway shots showing what happened in that story is the B roll. I never, I never told anybody this. About eight, nine months ago, I'm at the Taj and it's late and I see Johnny Chan walk in. And he goes, he sits 300, 600. And you know, the whole place stops. Johnny Chan walks in, everybody puts an eye on him. I mean, after a little while, you know, there, was, there wasn't a crap game going because all the high rollers are over there watching. And some of them are sitting there playing when they're giving away their money to this guy to say, oh, I played with a world champion. And you know what I did? What? I sat down. No, you need 50, 60 grand to play right in that game. Well, I had six, but I had to know. What happened? Played tight for an hour, I folded mostly, and then I made a score. Why are aces or kings? Rags. I had nothing. But <laughs> he raised, and I, I just decided, you know, I don't care about the money, I'm just gonna outplay the guy. I'm just gonna outplay this guy, this hand. I'll re-raise. Re-raise? You play right back at him, huh? Oh yeah, and he just comes right back over the top of me, trying to bully me like I'm some tourist. I hesitate for like two seconds. I'll re-raise. And he makes a move toward his checks and he looks at me. And then he looks at his cards and he looks at me again. And he mucked it. I took it down. Did you have it? I'm sorry, John. I don't remember. I got up and I walked to the cashier. I sat with the best in the world. And I won. So as you can see from the clip, the B-roll is simply the cutaway shots that help enhance the story that might otherwise have gotten boring if we were just watching him tell the whole story. And this is why Peter's video isn't actually B-roll, because the whole sequence tells the story, which makes it A-roll, rather than it being a cutaway clip from a story that's being told, which would then make it B-roll. Granted, you could have used some of those cool techniques that Peter did in his poker sequence to make those cutaway shots from rounders look even cooler, but I don't know if it would have fit with the story in this case, because it would probably be a bit too flashy. Now don't go think I'm hating on Swedish Peter because I watch him all the time and I think his work is great, but I just want to let you know what B-roll actually is and that it doesn't have to be elaborate to be good. It just needs to serve its purpose to better tell the story, which in this case I think it did very well. So thank you Matt Damon for helping me out with this video. Thanks everybody, I had a great time. And if this video was helpful for you, then help me out please by hitting that like button. And if you want to know more about how to use your camera to make good videos, then hit that subscribe button because I have a lot of videos on the channel to help you out with that. And with that, I'll see you soon.